I'm going to show you how to add in some custom forms or documents for your company. First thing we'd do is we'd click on administration and we can look at manage job documents. One of the things that you'll find out is right here in this little drop down, you can click on this and you can add in any of our default forms. You're able to use them any way that you want. Uh, you can use them exactly as they are or you can go in and edit a few things uh, as you wish. Uh, and then once you select that file, you can add it into your stock documents. If you want to create your own, you just click on add new document. And what we can do is find a form that you want to use. We can take the title of it and we can copy and paste this right in and we can take the rest of the document and we can go to the Word doc uh, clip form here, paste it in there and the document is in. From here, if you want to change things, uh, because we want to be able to make it where the technician is able to add in this information on their end. So we could click this little text field here and it'll turn it into a text box that the technician will be able to type into on their end. Uh, if you want this to auto-populate, we can go to tokens and we can go to client information and we can look at their address. And then we can click address line two as well. And it'll put this information in here. So this way, when the client's information is auto added in here, it'll put in their first name and last name automatically. The technician will not have to type it in. City, state. And we can do zip code. And if you want the job number in there, we just go to the job information. And this is kind of how you set up this document. So any text fields that we want in here, you can increase it by clicking that button there. Put in another text field, let's say. If you want to put check boxes in here, you just click this button there and it's a checkbox. So there's full instructions on how you're able to use this. It's just like any other uh, type of uh, uh, editing software. But this is how you add in a form. Then when you're done with it, you can just save it. And now it'll be in our list for the technicians. So the way the technicians will access this, they would click on their calls and they can click on a call number and they can go to the job here and down here at the bottom is job documents so they can add in a document let me delete the one that's here so the one that I just added in has in there the client information that we have typed in already uh, based on how I put it in I can go to let me go to one that we put a little bit more work into like the safety checklist company logo is going to pop up here because I added that in. It's a safety inspection, the client's name here, address. Uh, everything that we put in there is automatically populated. And then for the technician, they just go down the list and check off everything as they do it. So very easy to do. They can put in their uh, degrees for temp rise, static pressure, gas pressures, all those things can be entered in. So it's very quick and easy for the technician to do this. And then when they're done, they can save it. And then you can print and email this as well. Uh, when you email it, it'll automatically go to the client if the email address is typed in there. So uh, the tech doesn't even have to enter that in. And this way the client gets a copy of everything that was done and the condition of everything in there. So. This is a uh, custom document here that you're able to use. It's one of the default ones. And uh, you can create any one that you want. So good luck with that. If you have any questions, just let us know.